Forgnish Gaming. Hello, and welcome to Forgnish Gaming. I'm the dude that plays the games Forgnish, and today we are going to be talking about this little puppy right here. The NZXT Streaming Plus PC from the uh, pre-built section of NZXT's website. Um, and the big question today is, is it an awesome computer? Well, I can tell you, yes. Yes, it is. It is really awesome. Uh, the only problem is, is that, is it $2,000 awesome? And that is going to be the question that we answer today. So stay tuned for more. Okay, and here we are at NZXT's uh, own website, and right here, um, I'm just to let you all know, currently using my laptop to do this instead of my uh, desktop computer. Uh, but anyways, back to what I was saying, right here at the beginning, we're straight up at the streaming PC series, starting at $1,700. And so, um, and you know, here's like the little lineup of them right here. And we are actually going to go to um, streaming PC series of build a of the pre-built PC section, which is where where mine comes in. Um, and here you can see, you know, they have the standard streaming PC for seventeen hundred dollars, uh, the streaming plus PC that actually went down a hundred dollars from the from whenever I had purchased mine. And then you have the really beefy streaming pro PC at $2,700. Um, but we are actually going to go over the one that I had purchased, the streaming plus PC. Um, and I actually got mine in black instead of the white. I like the white aesthetic, but my wife was like, well, you probably like the black better. And I was like, well, you know, you're probably right. So that's the one that I'd actually opted for. Um, as I scroll down here... Um, you know, it does come with the free upgrade to Windows 11, which is what I had already uh, done with my computer, just to try to stay up to date and modern-ish. Uh, but in in any case, this computer here can play uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare at 120 FPS, Fortnite at 208 FPS, League of Legends at a massive whopping 408 FPS, and GTA 5 at 95 at 1080p. Whenever you switch it over to 1440p, uh, Modern Warfare drops to about 120, Fortnite at 153, League of Legends still at a whopping 389, and GTA 5 at 90 FPS. That's that's not a that's not like a massive drop, but it's just a slight drop just from going from 1080p to 1440. So 1440p is definitely a gaming option uh, with this PC. Here we have the specs. Um, it does come stock with the Windows 10 Home uh, CPU, an AMD Ryzen 7 5800X, which is a 8-core, uh, 3.8 gigahertz processor speed and 16 hyper-thread processor. It's it's pretty nice for, um, you know, it's really nice to have for gaming, uh, video editing, uh, streaming. It's like a nice little all-around uh, CPU. And I personally like mine. Like, I haven't had any issues with my computer at all. A GPU. It does come with a GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. Um, I would have wished that they would have opted for a 3080 in this build. But beggars can't be choosers. And the 3070 Ti does a tremendous job at anything that I need it to do. Um, the RAM, uh, right here it says that it comes with two 8GB sticks of 3000 megahertz. Um, mine actually came with 3200 megahertz. So that, that's something that might have changed or just kind of like a random happen chance. Kind of the same deal with the uh, graphics cards. Uh, the graphics cards are randomized. Um, one of my buddies, he had a very similar build, but he done it kind of customized with an i9. And he opted for the 3070 Ti and ended up getting a gigabyte one while I'm uh, sporting an EVGA. So it's, you know, it is what it is. It's kind of randomized, but it's kind of cool, you know, because you're not really sure what you're going to get. Um, it does come with one terabyte of M.2 SSD at storage. And mine actually came with a Western Digital Blue. So it's not like a really gaming, um, it's not very gamey. 
as a uh, M.2, but it is it, it's very resourceful. It's still really fast. Um, as far as like loading times and things like that, I haven't had any kind of issues. Um, and that's and that's another pet peeve is it does only have one terabyte of storage. For a streaming PC or like even an editing computer, you need more than that, I believe. Probably something around like four gigabyte, four four terabytes. I'm so sorry, four terabytes of storage space to get like the videos and to get like the streaming stuff set up in your games and all that. Um, and actually, that I'm gonna go right back to the RAM one more time. It only comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM. And I feel like that that's kind of a more modernization of requirements of games and not really of games and streaming. So I believe for it to be more of a, uh, a streaming PC, it needs more. Probably double that, like a good 32. So just uh, drop about like another 50, 60 bucks and get uh, 16 more gigabytes, pop that 32, and you are golden. Um, you know, and as I scroll down, it just has more detailed information of the, uh, of everything. Oh, and the motherboard. It does come with a B550 ATX motherboard. Um, I'm really happy with mine. Mine is actually an ASUS, uh, Prime Series motherboard, which is great, you know, but I wish that they would have spent just like the extra 20, 30 bucks and got like the ASUS Tough Edition. So that way, it has more of like a gamer aesthetic and more uh, USB ports. I have, unfortunately, I only have about six USB ports. So I'm having to buy, uh, like I already have one of the USB extenders to try to help give me additional ports. So that way I can run all the equipment that I need to, uh, to game or to stream or anything like that. So that that's kind of a little pet peeve of mine. Uh, the Kraken M22, that is actually not what mine came with. Mine came with a beefier Kraken X63 with a 280mm um, radiator in the front, sporting two 140mm fans uh, pulling the air through the front of the radiator. Um, and it, it's really nice, especially with the, uh, with the slight heating issues of the Ryzen 7 5800X. I believe that is a much better option than putting a little M22 in there. Very appreciative of that. That is, that's golden. And the same deal with the, uh, 3200 megahertz of RAM as opposed to the 3000. That was a, that was great. I very, I, I really enjoyed that. Um, it does come with a 750 watt gold uh, power supply. Mine, mine was actually a gigabyte one, so that was that was a very uh, that was an awesome surprise because I it's a brand that I'm very familiar with. Uh, it's been around for many years, and I trust it. So I very much appreciated that. Um, the case it does come with an NZXT H510 case, kind of like their basic line of cases. However. It doesn't really have a lot in terms of airflow. Like it does have, I think it's on this other side. It has this side here and it has the bottom for sucking air in. And that's it. Um, and I feel like it needs it needs more. They should have, in, in, and I mean I understand why they've done this. It's kind of like their basic model, their flagship case. But they should have opted for the newer airflow of the case so that way um, you know so that way you get more air through your case more air through your radiator more air through your graphics card and it just runs a lot smoother I believe so that might be a potential upgrade in the future but for right now I'm not going to touch it especially with the two-year manufacturer warranty for parts and labor so that's something that is um, that is definitely there to consider when you're buying this computer. You have a reassurance. Um, so that's kind of everything that I have on this computer, uh, just going over different specs and things like that. Um, one more small pet peeve I have is this picture here is very misleading. That is not what you're buying. 
And also, um, in the top of the case here, it does sport a 120 millimeter fan to blow air up and out, which is great. I appreciate that, but it's actually, it's also fitted for the 140 millimeter and now it has like a small gap and that's, this is just me, but I wish that they would have just opted for that 140, just fill that gap so that way I don't have to see it. And I mean, most of the time I don't unless I'm leaving. And then it's like I just look on top and I'm like, man, I need to replace that. Um, so that might be a potential upgrade too. So that's, that's, it's overall, it is a wonderful gaming PC. Um, I have streamed with it a couple of times just to see like what kind of, uh, like how, what it can really do. Um, and one, another thing that I'm thinking about doing is uh, adding a, uh, and adding a capture card in with the system. So that way, not only can I just record my PC, but I could also record like Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, uh, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, any of that kind of stuff. It's nice. It's future-proof. Um, I'm actually opting for the uh, Elgato uh, 4K60 Pro. That's probably about as much future-proofing with a card that you can do right now. Um, so that might be a potential upgrade that I do as well, uh, increasing the RAM and definitely increasing that storage space and that fan at the top just because it's aggravating. So those are those are probably my four major upgrades that I would do. Doesn't really cost a whole lot, um, but there you go. That is the NZXT Streaming Plus PC. Uh, would I recommend this? Oh yeah, you better betcha. This is a wonderful computer. It is phenomenal with everything that I've thrown at it. I haven't had any issues, no kind of crashes, nothing like that. Temperatures have stayed wonderfully cool. And it, it's just been phenomenal. Like, buy this computer. Like, buy it now. If you have the money, you better buy this computer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't. Like, like you know, it, it's great. If you're looking for a computer and you got the money... I would definitely recommend this. Um, if you have more money, shoot for the streaming plus. I mean, the streaming PC Pro. You know, if you got the money, go for it. But as far as like an entry level, I believe the streaming plus has the advantage over the standard streaming, just for the fact that it has the eight core processor over the six core processor. Well, that and the, and the standard 3070 with the 3070 Ti. But there you have it. That is, um, you know, that that's that's my thoughts on everything. That's that's the NZXT Streaming Plus Pro in a nutshell. I hope you all enjoyed my video. Um, you know, if you want to, uh, if you want me to try to do more things like this, uh, just leave a comment down below and we will definitely give this a go. Uh, thank you all for, for, for watching and please if you know if you could uh, hit that like and subscribe button, stay tuned for more and I will definitely we're gonna get you there. We're gonna get you some more videos. Stay tuned.